Welcome to VOR Basics. This video will explain the fundamentals of how to navigate safely and efficiently with a VOR. Let's begin with understanding what a VOR is. Standing for very high omnidirectional range, a VOR uses a ground station to provide azimuth information to the aircraft. The station is oriented to magnetic north and sends out 360 radials. Each radial represents a heading from the station. When visualizing a VOR, think of a bicycle wheel. Each radial is a heading from the station, so when you fly over the VOR and track a radial from the station, you are essentially tracking a heading away from the station. It is important to remember that VOR radials do not account for winds, so remember that your in-flight heading may be different from the radial which you are tracking. Eventually you will enter the cone of confusion once near a VOR. This will be apparent once a CDI needle begins to dance back and forth, followed by full deflection once over the VOR. If your aircraft is equipped with distance measuring equipment, or DME, it is known as VOR slash DME and provides distance information to or from a VOR. Before your flight, be sure to check with a weather briefer to see if the VORs are in service along your route of flight, and if so, whether or not they have any disabled radials. Now for the fun stuff. Let's explain the process of intercepting a VOR. First, we need to tune to the desired station and identify its Morse code. If you hear the code and it correlates to what you see on the sectional, you're all set. Next, we need to tune the OBS until the two indication appears and continue tuning the OBS to center the needle to the station. Follow the needle and fly directly to the station. If you find yourself a little off course, be sure to make small corrections and wait to see if you need to make further corrections to return on course. Upon arriving at the station, select the outbound radial you wish to fly from. Now change your heading to approximately the desired radial. The cone of confusion will not be left until a few moments after passing the VOR. Once the CDI stabilizes, change heading either right or left to bring the CDI needle into the center and ensure you are receiving a from indication. Once that is accomplished, you are now established on the outbound radial and you are heading 